I received an email a couple of days ago from a plugin manufacturer saying we have a new free plugin, an upright piano. And I thought, are the free plugins, especially sample based free plugins, are they usable? Are they useful? Are they worth having? So I thought we should listen to them and compare them and see if they are usable or not. And a good way to start is with the overlooked and underrated upright piano. I'm gonna compare some of the free plugins I have, some of the free upright piano plugins I have, but not all of them because I discarded some that I thought were trash, really. And there are probably plenty out there that I don't know about. But these are a few, and I also included a couple of paid ones so we can hear the difference between the free and the branded upright plugins. I'm not gonna go into playability, how the dynamics are and so on, only how they sound and if they could work in context of a song. I will of course link to all of them in the description. Let's start with the first one. That was the one I received an email about and it's called Upright Piano by Audiolatry. I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry, but it sounds like this. It sounds okay, a bit tacky maybe, but that could be in a good way. In these plugins, sometimes you can also tweak some settings. I haven't done it. I have taken away all the reverbs and things that you could tweak so we can compare them more properly. And I will go through these rather quickly now. The next one is 99 Sounds. Upright piano sounds like this. Totally different. Still sounds like an upright piano, but totally different. The next is from Piano Book. Piano Book is a website where you can, if you just register, you can download tons of, uh, well, 1300 sample packs for free. And they have a lot of upright pianos contributed by members of Piano Book. They often use samples for decent sampler which also is a free sampler also linked down below of course this is the basic piano from piano book moody dark i'm thinking movies film uh, the next one also from piano book claustrophob claustrophobic piano Even darker, even moodier, if that's a word. Uh, this is really in the background of a film or TV series. A Beckstein, also from Decent Sampler, Piano Book. Sounds rather natural to me, but in a very dark room. Then we have Spindle from Orchestral Tools. They also have their own free library, just like Spitfire Labs. I didn't include Labs in this video, but they also have a free piano. This is sort of the same principle. They have their own player and they have some free libraries you can download if you just register. This sounds like this. I really liked the sound of this, but I had a problem with it. I was trying to shorten the release. I think the release is too long, uh, but I doesn't matter how I do it. It doesn't get shorter. Maybe I, I'm doing something wrong. If you know how to do it, please leave a comment down below. And then I have a couple of branded ones, a couple of paid ones. This is Addictive Keys which have an upright piano that sounds like this. Typical upright piano, I'm thinking music school directly. 
And then also from Native Instruments, The Gentleman. For me, that sounds really, really good, but I think all of these sounds pretty good, but for different purposes. I've done a short loop with bass, drums, and also piano, so we can compare them. And the piano is the same meter files on all the plugins, so the playing is exactly the same. Let's listen to it and see how they sound. Which one sounded the best for you? Or were there several that could work in context? Remember that these have no EQ, no compression, no reverb, nothing on them. You can always tweak them to your liking. By the way, I didn't take all of the piano book samples in this loop, only one of them I took the Beckstein. Because two of them, especially this claustrophobic one, It's, it's made for movies, it's made for moody backgrounds, probably with a lot of reverb. Could we do that? A lot of reverb? One second. Now you know what I'm talking about. I didn't include that in the loop. But where do we use upright pianos? Well, we use them, of course, in ballads, like I'm thinking John Lennon's Imagine, but also others, Gavin de Graw, where you want a more nasty piano than a grand piano. I often use, more and more, use upright pianos in my productions, especially if the mix is crowded with a lot of guitars and percussion, I use an upright piano, often in mono. Another thing, it could also be a rhythmic instrument. You often hear upright pianos playing eight notes in the background of a mix. So let's do that. Let's try these plugins again, but now playing eight notes in a faster song. thinking and probably you too that there are different plugins that works in this context better than in the other context in the ballad thing you can use them for different purposes does this mean that we don't have to pay for plugins well, a little bit yes we don't have to spend money if we don't need to spend money we can search for plugins that are good enough for the purpose we're after anyhow which one was your favorite 
Do you have a favorite that I didn't include in this video? Please tell me in the comments. In Sweden, we just call an upright piano for piano. But if I should translate upright, it would be upprättstående. Upprättstående in Swedish. Totally weird. Until next time, Roger that.